Scorpio, welcome to your February 2023 reading. I'm Robin Carlyon from Robin's Authentic Wellness Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. I did change my name because I want the um, oh, the acronym to be uh, Raw Tarot. So uh, my community, my Facebook community is Raw and my business is called Robin's Authentic Wellness. So Robin's Authentic Tarot, that is the final change. <laughs> so let's see here. Ooh, I love this for you. This here is the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Fire. And this is representing that you are more determined than ever to work at what it is that you are working on, whether this is your whether this is your business, whether this is your career, whether this is um, health, uh, whether this is uh, personal relationships. So you are more determined than ever to make things work for you to build and develop. I love that. Very good energy. Very positive. And um, Scorpio, for 2023, um, there is going to be, and I know this is February, February reading, but for 2023, excuse me, uh, you have a lot of things going well for you. And I'm really, really excited for you. So now... Um, you have here as the challenge, and this is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles, this is a very nurturing, very abundant queen. Um, this queen, uh, there's that, that deep trust and that deep knowing, but it's in the challenge position. So for this being in the challenge position, it's, it's kind of like, like this hard work that you're doing right now. This is the situation. And so the hard work that you are committed to doing is maybe not producing right this moment, but it most definitely will. And I do feel that there, is, I'm Scorpio too. And um, so I do feel this very much so. And spirit is confirming that there's a lot of like, um, that work that you're going to be doing. You're going to be laying a lot of groundwork. You're going to be kind of like figuring things out or redoing things. Um, I kind of see like things like uh, rewording, you're reworking something out and you're making it even better than it was before. Um, and that can go in all sorts of um, all sorts of avenues, um, health, personal relationships, your, your professional life. So here, yeah, here you go. Oh my goodness. This is the fool. This is your belief energy. And the fool is take that leap of faith. Most definitely take that leap of faith. Do what scares you. Okay. Um, I have to do that too. And I am doing that too. So while you are doing some restructuring and making things like really awesome and strategic and, and every avenue or what avenue resonates to you, um, there is that taking that leap of faith, really going for it, really believing in it. Remember, this is the belief energy. This is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's a major arcana. This is a big step that you are taking for yourself. That's awesome. Okay, and now you have the King of Swords. And Scorpio, I did want to say what was just coming up for me <clears throat> was a person. If, if it is a uh, relationship that you are currently working on, um, I do feel that there is definitely some air energy. This is the King of Swords. And so with this, and it, it can be male or female, there's some sort of relationship going on with an air sign. So um, now this is the root of the reading. This, again, I'm feeling like all sorts of different things that are going on. I'm feeling it in like every part of your life. And so with this air sign, 
Definitely could be an air sign if there's a romantic relationship that you already have. There's something that you're rebuilding, but this could be some new friendship. It could be a new coworker. It could be a new work partner. It could be any of those things. Um, but then with this king of sword energy there is um that uh like direct thought there is that um like massive confidence you know what it is that you want to do you're making decisions really really quickly and you're making the decisions like you are taking the time to really figure things out and this is such a beautiful beautiful energy for you um scorpio because there is there is part of that uh, analytical mind in the Aquarius energy or in the the other Aquarius, I'm sorry, the other air signs, which would be Gemini or Libra. Um, the reason I said Aquarius is because we're in the birth month right now for the Aquarius. Um, and I guess really depending on when you're watching this, because if you're watching it um, in the latter part of February, then it would be Pisces, okay? Um, but what I'm feeling from this is that um, with the Scorpio and the Scorpio characteristics, there is that uh, bit of um, impulsiveness. And I am very much like that. But there's kind of like there's a leveling out and there's there's like both sides to it. I just feel there's so much complexity complexity so much duality there's so many things that are going on for this month um oh whoa hold on so here's your present energy here and you have um you have the seven of cups and the seven of cups that's exactly what this means is that there is a lot going on and there 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 is a whole lot of different cups there's a whole lot of things so there you go present energy there's a lot of things happening so you know could be personal relationships could be friendships um there could be business things that are happening um there could be again um i'm really picking up health there's like some really, uh, you're, you're um, either doing something new or you're kind of revamping something, but you're really focused on your health. That's what I'm feeling. Also with this card here, so I'm going to cough. <coughs> I just need to take a drink. Mm, still kind of there. But anyway, um, this is also like short-term and long-term things and really intuitively... Uh, focusing on what it is that you want to do um, because remember when you're looking at career if you're looking for some sort of employment looking for some sort of opportunity or something like that remember that there there's a lot of amazing opportunity in in small stints small jobs small opportunities there's also a lot of long term as well but what I want to mention to you is that everything is a moment in time. Everything is an experience. Okay. So it's, it's, if something comes up and you feel inclined and intuitively inclined to take that position, but you're not really sure how long it's going to last, go for it anyway. Because when you make decisions, when you make decisions, sorry, my dog was just making a sound. Um, when you make decisions, and you take that action, then other things and other opportunities, other avenues open up for you. Okay. Um, so that's, that's what I'm, wow. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling. Like there's a lot, there's a, so much, there's so much that's going on for you, Scorpio. And so here you have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is that fire energy. And I really feel like things are really going to get going really, really quickly. Um, this is like a burst of new energy. And this is definitely like being handed to you from the universe. Like, again, like with the, with the situation, that determination, like you are so focused on what it is that you want to do. You've got that fire energy behind you. And that's like just pushing you and like really like fueling you to really keep on going and stay like really really passionate every single second of the journey and then you have the justice card and so this one here this one um <clears throat> excuse me 
11. That's so interesting because I'm sure it shows up as, um, does it always? I'm not sure. But anyway, so this one here, 11. So that 11, that one, one, um, I know it's like usually 11, 11, but it, what I'm really, Ooh, you know what? 11, 11, but then here's the other 11 right here. And that there is indicating that there is pillars. So for me, what I'm seeing or what spirit just said to me was 11, 11, because what I got from this was like your thoughts, your thoughts. This is also air energy too, um, because there's that sword right there. There's the pillars right there. The pillars are representing that you are moving into something new. Anytime that there's pillars, I picture a doorway. So anytime you open that door and you move through, you've just moved into some different energy. You've moved on a new path, you've moved into a new journey. Okay. And it's something that's really going to work out for you. I absolutely love this because in your present energy, it's almost like there's a reading in the reading. So really remarkable energy, a lot of things going on. Things are working out well for you and you are taking action really, really quickly. That's awesome. You have amazing, incredible energy. Let's see what's up for you in the future. What is in Scorpio's future? Future, future. Let's see here. Okay. All right. We have the five of pentacles. This five of pentacles is, it means that you are no longer feeling left out in the cold at one time. Most definitely. Yes, you were. This is a five. Fives represent shifting out. So you are shifting out of feeling like things weren't going your way, okay? And you're shifting into, yes, they are going your way because of this amazing, incredible determination. I love this foundational energy here. Um, that pentacle energy, it has to do with the people that are around you. It could be family. It could be loved ones. Um, that is also like how you're uh, supporting yourself, bringing money in. And this is also like like um, this, this, this cycle that there's that foundation and there's a lot of things that are changing up. So with this, for your present energy, the seven of cups, that is representing that, you know, you might be taking new opportunities. These opportunities are definitely going to work out for you. Um, that's good. That's great. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Amazing. You have the emperor. This is for your internal energy. You are just fueling with this fire for February. Excuse me. That's amazing. Like you have the king of swords, you have the emperor, and that's like decisions, decisions, decisions. Like you are on it. You are, you are, well, I want to say you are in your element, which this is fantastic. Like what your check your um your rising sign as well <clears throat> um yeah that's amazing check your rising sign and see what what comes up for that there's there's a lot of complexity here like i said there's a lot of complexity here and like um most definitely like with your element here with the seven of pentacles but everything else is like complementing you and you have the queen of cups and this is your external energy queen of cups again the queens are all about that deep knowing and that deep trust but there's a lot of intuitiveness here there's a lot of caring there's a lot of love there's a lot of like taking special care and really feeling that like uh the passion and the determination that you have for what it is that you're doing, again, there's that love, there's that relationship, whether that is some sort of, I mean, goodness, we have like external for February, there is Valentine's Day. I kind of forgot about that, um, but Valentine's Day. And with that, like there's just, I mean, I know there's the commercial stuff, but um, the commercialization of that, but there's also um, like just 
feeling that love and feeling that, you know, there is new relationships and there's new things that are starting all of the time. Um, with this here, this also like, just like the, the, the cup energy, your energy, your water energy, it's like about those relationships. And it's about, um, like really like, like raising that frequency, really attracting like <clears throat> a lot of really good energy. And like, this is, this is sacral chakra. So sacral chakra, it's all about attracting abundance. Um, it's all about feelings. It's all about like, um, like self-worth, self-love, um, a lot of love, a lot of love that's going around for the external energy. I love that. Cool. And this here, oh my goodness, speaking of love, you have the six of cups. Ooh, I love this. So when I see this, like this 100% love, this is a lot of fulfillment. All of the um, cups are full. They are overflowing. They are abundant. This is beautiful. And there is someone that is giving someone else something. There's also that giving is receiving energy. Love energy is very, very high vibrational. So if you are really determined on making something work, creating something for your professional side, this is the time to be talking to the universe out loud or in your mind if you're not comfortable with it and saying like, this is what I want to attract. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Like February, like make this your mission to, to really write down and it just has to be a couple of sentences. But be very, very specific with what it is that you want to manifest. And I mean like, like every day you wake up, you do your gratitude, and then you rhyme off what it is that you are wanting to manifest, um, your intentions for this month, your actions that you're taking, like tell the universe every single day what you're doing. You're going to see so much change. Okay, so there is, this is your uh, completion. And holy, wow, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to show you first. That's amazing. So you have the chariot. This is, uh, this is like career advancement. This is really good energy. This is joy. This is happiness in every element. This is also like people are watching you succeed. Okay. They are watching you succeed. They are seeing you. Um, and they, they are happy for you. Your like-minded people. Those are the ones that are going to be happy for you. The ones that are going to cheer you on every single step of the way stick with those people um and then this here is your hair event this is also another major arcana now with this card this is a five okay so the hair event this comes out as traditional but the five there's that shift and so it means that there's that shift moving out of doing things traditionally and moving to the beat of your own drum, doing things your own way, uniquely creating things your own way, Scorpio, and really pushing it out. And, and like, it, it just, it feels more natural and more like rhythmic when you are putting you into it. Okay. So there is the traditional ways of doing things, but then there's your way, there's your creative way and you are full of creativeness with your gorgeous water energy and so with the love and with all of this energy this high quality amazing incredible energy of things like really going very very well for you a lot of build up a lot of creation this is absolutely fantastic to the beat of your own drum that's awesome I love it now you also have the Knight of Cups. This also is, um, there's, a, there's a couple things to this. And <clears throat> right off the bat, there is um, a lot of love. There's a lot of um, like new relationships. But with that Knight energy, that Knight is representing that there is something that like, there's a lot of content, con content, contentment not contemptment, it's contentment. <laughs> so you're feeling very content. You're feeling like very like there's that emotional stability. Like you're just like 
trotting along your horse like everything's feeling good and again i said that rhythmic that is something that you're feeling as well with this knight remember the knight like knight in shining armor the knight um energy so there is that knight that um eliminates obstacles and there's that knight that um really wants to succeed and really wants to have um like a beautiful life, a beautiful life. There's a lot of really amazing energy here. Um, it goes so much deeper. I mean, there's just so much depth to everything in this Scorpio. This is going to be a month that you are not going to forget. I absolutely love this for you. I thank you so much for showing up for yourself. I thank you for showing up and listening to me. And I thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.